Martin likes everything Guildford. What's wrong with that? Uh, coming up to seven o'clock, time now to get the news, the travel and the weather wherever you are. Back here shortly with headlines. Hello there, good morning. A 22-year-old man arrested in Fife on Saturday has now been charged in connection with alleged offences under the Terrorism Act. The man was arrested in Glenrothes at the weekend following an intelligence-led operation. He's expected to appear at Kirkcaldy Sheriff Court later today. Scotland enjoyed the highest rate of new business growth in the UK in June. That's according to new figures. The latest Royal Bank of Scotland Purchasing Managers Index report also shows Scotland joint third out of 12 monitored areas for output. It's the second increase in new activity in seven months. But the economy remains fragile as job creation slowed to a fractional pace and business confidence remained historically weak. A woman's been rescued by helicopter after falling down a cliff last night. She was stranded with a broken leg and under threat from the incoming tide. It happened at around 8.30 in Glenlui, Glochaber. She was winched into a Coast Guard rescue helicopter and flown to Ragmore Hospital in Inverness. At Wimbledon, as Andy Murray reflects on his first round mixed doubles win with Serena Williams on Saturday, big brother Jamie will be playing this evening. Our reporter Kennedy Nid stands there to preview the day's action. It's Manic Monday here at Wimbledon, which means it's the last 16 for both the men and the women. All the top players involved today, Rafa Nadal, Roger Federer, Serena Williams in the singles. She won't be playing mixed doubles with Andy Murray until tomorrow. They'll be taking on the 14th seeds, Martin and Atawo. Today in mixed doubles, it's Jamie Murray's turn. He's back in action with his American partner, Bethany matek Sands. A tough one for them. They are last up on court number 12, so not before 5.30, against the third seeds, Pavic and Dabrowski. Kerry Nidsan, reporting Scotland, Wimbledon. Judith's here now to give us the forecast. Morning. Good morning. A very good morning to you. Uh, Gia there behind me. A beautiful start today for many. But as the week progresses, it's progressively unsettled. We're looking at rain or showers, but some dry interludes. It's quite a chilly start today. Temperatures not far off freezing across northern Scotland. Maybe even a touch of frost. But for most of us, plenty of sunshine. Although a weather front will start to show its hand, introducing more in the way of cloud across western parts. And eventually we'll start to see one or two showers breaking out this afternoon for the southwest, limiting the sunshine to the northeast up towards Caithness and the Northern Isles. And in fact, Shetland looks like having a fine sunny week. Temperature wise, we're looking at around 18, 19, maybe 20 Celsius for the highlands, more typically 17 degrees and cooler for the east coast and the Northern Isles. So we'll start to see rain pushing in tonight, extending across the country and it will be mild. That's your forecast. Thanks very much for that, Judith. A look at the travel news now, and the Beef Bypass is closed for resurfacing work from Dilry Road to Head Street. On the A85 in Tindrum, there are temporary traffic lights and roadworks between Tindrum and Inverlochy. In Pennycook, there's gas mains work on Edinburgh Road with temporary traffic lights, and in Dumfries on the A75, there's a convoy system between Spittal and Palmure. That's it. There's more from us at 7.25. Bye for now.